All right, folks, this is a quick video where we're going to build this unun, and it's a four to one unun. And I use this to connect coaxial cable from my radio into an unbalanced antenna. And you might say, well, why would you want to do that? Well, I could use this for, say, a vertical antenna and a radio ground plane connected to the, the ground side. Um, or I could use this for something like an all-center fed dipole, uh, which is what I'll probably use it for. Now, you hear a lot of people say you need a four-to-one ballon for an all-center fed dipole. But an all-center fed dipole is inherently unbalanced and you need an un, -un. So if somebody says that, don't listen to them. So we'll get started and I'll show you how I did it. PCBWay.com offers premier prototyping services the easy way. Check out PCBWay.com if you have needs on your next project. PCBWay.com offers advanced PCB services. You can get flex or rigid PCBs, and they can even help you assemble or apply the parts that you need on your project. PCBWay.com has services that meet your needs. Check out their wide range of PCB capabilities that they have at PCBWay. No need to worry about shipping. PCBWay.com has you covered with multiple carriers and vendors that can ship international and worldwide. All right, let's take a few minutes to talk about what we have here. Um, this is the box that I'm going to use for the project. It's just a small, like a polycarbonate plastic, I don't know what you would call it, box. But it does have a waterproof uh, seal. It's got a lip right here. You can see that. And then on the lid, you actually put this piece of rubber strip in there. So it should work outside just fine, provided I don't drill any big holes in it or anything like that and cause a problem. Um, for the core... This is from another video I did. I actually wound this showing how to wind the Cartena Poseidon core. And this is a T130, meaning it's uh, 1.3 inches across, and it is a Type 52 powdered iron core. And I have it wound in a center tap configuration with eight windings. If you want to learn how to wind this, I'll link to that video below, and uh, you can check it out. But you can use this either for a 4 to 1 ballon or a 4 to 1 un, -un. We're going to do it in an un, -un configuration which essentially means that the center tap goes to the center conductor on our BNC connector. And so for this BNC connector, we're just gonna drill a hole in this box and mount it on there. And so there's a couple things I wanted to really think about. I was thinking about using these, these wing nut post mounts. I don't know what you would call those, like I did on this particular box. And so you can see, I just connect my, this is for my ground and this is for the antenna side. And I just connect them on there and go about my business. But uh, this is another box that I have where we use these I didn't build this one. This is where um, they use these five-way uh, binding posts that you can use banana jacks in, or you can just use like spade, spade or ring terminals on, on this. Let's see if I can pop this thing open. I should have been prepared to do this. That ought to do it. And this is just a little nine to one box that I had gotten a long, long time ago off of eBay. And this guy did it. Uh, KK4 looks like YMI. Uh, anyhow, thanks for putting this together. I bought it from them. So um, not too much thanks needed there. But what I'm thinking about doing is using these. And then um, I can take them off of this thing here and then just mount them separately. But I kind of want to mount them on the top like that. So I think that's probably going to be the plan. Let me see uh, what we're going to come up with. All right, so I drilled out the hole for this BNC connector. And I probably got to clean that up a little bit. But see, when I put this in here, I'm not going to be able to spin the nut on here because of this little post hole thing right here. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this thing. And I'll be right back once I do. And I just hit it with the Dremel, and it was like it was never there. Love the Dremel. All right, so here's where we landed. Uh, I put the five-way posts or whatever they're called on here, and uh, you can see it's just a little bit crooked. Now, I know that some of the OCD, was it OCD boys out there are going to go crazy over that, but uh, I don't really care that much. And then I've got my BNC mounted in here, and it's reasonably clean. So the next thing is, is going to be mounting this core in here. And uh, this center conductor needs to go to the center tab, and then this side needs to go down to this tab here which is a ground connection to the shield. So I got to somehow get it down there. And then I'm going to have to run another piece of wire up to this point on the ground for the uh, antenna. Now, folks might say, hey, what are you going to do with this? But um, I could use it for an off-center fed dipole, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. 
But uh, I don't know. I just like to have little parts like this in my antenna kit, and then that way I can do whatever it is that I need to do uh, based off of the parts that I have. All right, I got my splaining glasses on. But uh, I don't know if this is a pro tip or not, but what I did is I took the ground and actually fed it through that tab to make it easier to size up where I'm going to do – where I'm going to cut this center conductor or center tap, as I should call it. Now, I have not soldered it yet, so I'm going to solder this, and then I'm going to solder it into place there. All right, so here's the finished project, and let's talk a little bit about what we got going on here. Now, some folks might say, well, why did you put the aerial in the ground on the sides that you did? And it doesn't really matter. I could have flipped these either way. It, it doesn't matter. And the design of this core, the important thing for an un, -un is that the center tap comes to the connector, and I think we covered that pretty good. And I got it soldered in here, and we're pretty secure. Now, either one of the other legs could go to the ground or the aerial. It doesn't matter. I could have mounted this upside down. I could have flipped this around. It doesn't matter. As long as one goes to one side and one goes to the other side. So this wire was a little bit short. So I soldered it into the tab for the shield connector down here. You can see right here is where I did that. And then I took this wire up and I attached another wire with just a O-ring terminal connector and I screwed it on there. And then I just soldered these two together and then hopefully you can see that. And I got a pretty good connection there. And then for the element or aerial, uh, I just ran this one up and I put a crimped and soldered an O-ring connector there and I mounted it in. So for all intents and purposes, this is complete and uh, it should work okay. So maybe we'll get a video where we test this out. And like I said, I think I'm going to use it for an all center fed dipole. I haven't really decided yet, but uh, that's really it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching.